Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over the Divi Countdown Timer module. So before we dive into this tutorial, I just wanted to let you know that I've got a special affiliate link discount for Divi if you don't already have it. I highly recommend picking it up and you can get 10% off or more potentially if there's a sale going on with my link below and that's wpwithtom.com slash Divi. I also just wanted to mention that I'll be posting videos covering the basics of all of these Divi modules on my channel. So be sure to subscribe if that's something that interests you. And with this quick intro out of the way, let's dive into the Divi Countdown module. So this module is a very easy to use one, and it can be used on various types of pages, such as sales pages, landing pages, coming soon pages, and a lot more than that. So what I'm going to do on this mock writers website is I'm going to pretend like I'm setting up a countdown module for a course that this person has. So if I go here, we can get started by adding a new section. I'm just going to make it a regular section. Here I'll make it a full width row and within this row, this single row here, I'm going to go down and I'll select countdown timer right here. So I'm going to just click save right here, this checkbox, and then I'm going to start by adding a background image. And what I did was I just got this background image from Unsplash, this first one that came up when I typed in course. And then I went over to stencil, which I'll have a link to below. It's wpwithtom.com slash stencil. And this has free plans on it. I actually have the unlimited plan here. And I use this for so many different things in terms of basically making it like an easier version of Photoshop to use. It's like Canva, very similar to that, except I like it a little bit more. And with this free one, you actually can use 10 images a month and you can upload up to 50 images and you can make some nice edits with it. It's very user friendly. I have some videos on it on my channel. Anyway, so what I did was I made the background a little bit darker than this image right here within Stencil, and then I just saved it and uploaded it into my files here in the media files of my website. So what I'm going to do here is I'll just go and click Section Settings, and then I'll go to Background, and here I'll go and select where it says Add Background Image, Add an Image, and what I'll do is just upload this image here that was from Unsplash that I updated in Stencil. So here you can see that the image doesn't take up much of the space. I want to make this effect basically have a light box around this with the white text and make this image larger so you can see it. So I'm going to go to where it says design and here I'll go to spacing and padding. I'm going to link these to the top and bottom and I'm just going to add 250 pixels or so. You can make it bigger or smaller as needed and I just really wanted to fill up this section and give it its own section for this mock course here. So then once that's done, I'm gonna go down here and save it. And within this section, we can start editing this actual box here. So I wanna get rid of this bluish greenish background right here and also change some of the text. So let's go in here and where it says text right here for the content, we can change our title. So since this is a mock course, I'm gonna just say, get my limited time writing course discount and basically it would just be like something that's going to cause somebody to have to act soon if they want to get this limited time discount they've got to purchase it soon so here you can adjust when the day is going to be that it actually ends in so right now when i'm recording this it's actually the 25th of september so it gives me a month away as the deadline maybe i want to make it like a week or something like that so if i made it this it would give us a week left for this countdown you can also adjust the time right here on the days and minutes as needed here to add more or less time to this so if you wanted to give it exactly a week you could go down here and do something like that it's basically going to be a week if we go and adjust these so you can make it exact if you want or you can just throw on a random time or date that you want in the future so from here, I'm going to go down to where it says background, and this is where I'm going to start making some changes to make this green go away. So if I went and just made it black, you can see what it looks like. If I wanted to make it more of an orange color to go with the rest of my site, you can go and edit that and easily change the background color to fit with the site a little more. What I'm going to do is make it black, and then I'll go in here and I'll make it more transparent on the background. So maybe I'll do something like this so you can still read it pretty well in the background but you can see this box around it i think it looks pretty good like that 
and then I'm going to go over to where it says design. So within here, I'm going to start editing some of the features in this design area. If I go down to where it says title text, I can change the title font if I want. I can change the title weight. Maybe I'll make it bold so you can see that. And maybe I'll make it larger, like 32 or something like this. You can play with this and adjust it as needed for the actual settings within here. So from here, let's just say I want to go down and change this section right here where the numbers text is. You can also go and change that. I can make it like semi bold. And then I could go down here to the box shadow. I think it looks pretty good when you add a box shadow to it. I think it pops a little bit more. Actually, that might be something you want to do with the title text as well. Maybe add this box shadow right here. And I think it pops a little bit on a page when you do that. Another thing we can do is go down to where it says separator text. And right here, if you actually don't want these little icons between what you can do, instead of having it be 54 pixels, is just make it zero and it will go away. So I wanted to show you that option. I'm probably going to just leave it at the 54 pixels and just leave it in there. But that's something you could do if you wanted to get those go away, is make it zero pixels for the separator text. So if we close this section and we go down to label text, here, I'm also going to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to make it like 18 or something like that. And the font weight, I'm going to also probably make it bold or semi bold. I think semi bold would look fine. And then again, I'm going to add this box shadow to the label. I just feel like it looks pretty good like that. When you see it, it's a little bit more clear with this text. You can also edit the font to make it different if you want as well. But that's really an easy way to make some changes to how the overall look is for the site. So from here, I'm actually going to wrap up this video. I really hope that this showed you the basics of the Divi Countdown Timer Module. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. And if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more WordPress and Divi related tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.